Yo, Snapchat, so this is pretty cool. There's a drone watching me at the moment, a little drone. You wouldn't notice it though. It's It looks no different to a bird. It's so tiny. I'll show you. Oh God, it's back for more. It's back for more. Pew, pew, pew. Oh my god, drones, drones win. <laughs> okay, fuck it, let's talk about drones. <laughs> I was sitting here watching some Stephen Wolfram, I was going to do a really deep topic about the computational universe and computational irreducibility and computational equivalence and all this really cool stuff about the universe, but let's... So I'm sure I've already talked about drones in previous uh, future episodes. Uh, drones are going to be massive. I mean, for starters, they're terrifying. So military use of drones, you know, that's just going to be terrifying. I'm pretty sure I've already mentioned ideas around like drones for rescues, drones for um, environmental monitoring, drones for deliveries of packages and medicines and stuff like that. So let's, let's go to a next level, let's do something different. Okay, how about we start with the future premise that there are trillions and trillions of drones around the entire planet covering basically every single surface. They're tiny, they're autonomous, the battery lasts a long time, and they just run themselves. So when I say tiny, I'm talking about like insect size, like even the size of mosquitoes at some point. Trillions of them scattered throughout the entire environment, um, and they have every possible sensor on them, and they leach energy from the So right now, most drones are pretty much like more advanced RC helicopters. They're not that amazing, but I think this whole idea of like really tiny insect-sized drones will be very possible within 10 years. Okay, so with insect sized drones, I think the first thing you'd do is you'd monitor the entire planet. Essentially, science now becomes, rather than having the occasional field trip and finding new insights into the way the environment works, we'd instead have a real-time 24-7 map of the entire planet, down to the meter, so video resolution, but also like every single sensor, so temperature data, atmosphere data, air quality data, everything. These trillions of little drones around the world could then like uh, feed all this data into a single decentralized data storage blob, um, and then machine learning algorithms can basically run through that, index it, and process it. A system like that would become like a snapshot of the planet. It would be able to track everything as a, as a single entity. Like we all know that, you know, Spaceship Earth is all a very enclosed system. It's like a big greenhouse, so it's all one system. And so with that data, scientists could work with AIs to mine through it, to find insights, to, uh, to watch the climate in real time and see how everything flows throughout the entire system, to watch the migration of species and everything. I think we look back on now and be like, wow, wasn't it really weird that we didn't know absolutely everything that was happening on the planet in real time? It was, it was just like piecemeal. It was like we'd go out, find something and discover it and come back. We didn't know everything at all at once. I mean, hell, the fact that we're still discovering new species almost on a daily basis means that we know very, very little about our own home planet. And that's weird. That's, that's, yeah, that's so weird. What's with today? It's just flying things everywhere. And these guys. Oh yeah, and if we have an accurate map of the entire planet down to like the centimeter and everything is happening, like the constant data of the entire planet, um, the planet becomes an algorithm, it, be it becomes something we can look at and analyze. For the first time then, we can actually treat the planet as a single resource, as a single scarce resource, you know, our only home planet, don't fuck it up. Um, and we can simulate, if we do this, what will, what will be the accurate so we could run co uh, computational simulations, so, um, you know, if we deforest this area, what will happen? If we put this new coal mine in, what will happen? If we build a city here, what will happen? And even simulate, like, what is the optimal, what is the optimal strategy to fix climate change? Um, like, at the moment, we have no idea. We're just saying, oh, shit, we've got to reduce carbon. Let's just do more renewables. But if we knew everything was happening on the planet in real time, down to every single, like, flow, <laughs> I don't know, then you could actually accurately work out what the best mitigation tactic and actually, we'll be able to do a lot of these simulations well before we have the little micro drones. There's a lot of satellite companies that are coming online now where they're going to be mapping the planet down to a meter resolution plus all the sensor data. Okay, what else can these drones do? Well, communications. So we can have like a, a mesh network of internet, of high-speed internet. When you've got trillions of these devices basically scattering the entire atmosphere and environment, they just bounce off each other. Another one I really like is just kind of like uh, capturing every single event that happens on Earth. So imagine the news. Like when any, when any event happens, um, the drones will just be there filming it constantly from every angle, mind you, so you'll be able to go back in and replay it and actually watch what happens. Um, and so news won't become this biased thing anymore, it'll be like, well, go in and see it from every angle yourself. And then also when you pair that with VR, you can jump to anywhere in, on the planet. Um, you can go for, you know, virtual, virtual holidays and virtual tours um, and see people's lives in real time. 
and then mass surveillance. Um, so bit in a, in a good way. So if this system was decentralized, not really owned by anyone, it was just kind of run as a DAO or like a cooperative or a swarm or an AI. You know, suppose no, no government had access to it, no government had control of it, um, but you know, there are these trillions of little uh, bugs everywhere watching everyone's movements and watching what they're doing. I mean, as terrorism and, and the kind of like biogenetic warfare become way more advanced to the point where, you know, for the like sense you can create these things that can cause vast chaos, it would kind of, I, I honestly think it would kind of make sense for um, this kind of decentralized, unbiased system to just watch and keep everyone safe. But there wouldn't be any like government control, or human control, or, like I mean, any human access in this system. Um, the AI would make the call as to something going on and then notify the authorities. I do wonder though, in this world, like um, I wonder how humans will react. Like how will people react when they know that, when they see an insect, they won't know whether that's biological or a drone. <laughs> like I'm sure there'll definitely be some sort of future shock, but I think people will probably just get used to it at some point um, and just accept that every single bug around them could actually be a drone. Perhaps what might happen is people have like uh, a couple thousand, you know, maybe 10,000 uh, drones following them, either really close nearby or within like a kilometer radius, just constantly protecting them. And this is where this thought goes weird now. So uh, what you could actually have is you could have um, these drones co constantly mapping your 3D environment. So basically you could replay your life in the past in accurate 3D. Plus your little drones would be constantly monitoring for threats, for ETH dropping, dropping if you don't want ETH dropping, um, for anything in the environment that might cause you harm, or also predicting what might come ahead and what you might need next. Okay, so that thought's still processing, so snap your own thoughts, I future. What happens in a world where around you at any given time there's thousands of hidden drones that either yours or someone else